Amen. On this morning, yours truly, we bring in the, uh, the ministry moments for the youth. Amen. And I'm going to come from Proverbs, the sixth chapter. Amen. From, uh, starting at the 16th verse, just two verses. Amen. And the reasons follow. If six things do the Lord hate, yet seven are an abomination unto him. He hate a proud look and a lying tongue. And a hand that sheds innocent blood. Mm -hmm. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. A false witnesses, a false witness that speak lies. Mm -hmm. People of God, the Lord is not pleased with those that spread lies and so discord in other folk houses. All right. He's not pleased. Mm -mm. Amen. So many people, uh, Paul said, we perish for the lack of knowledge. And, and I don't care how old you are, once you come into the knowledge of the truth, amen, you held accountable. Mm -hmm. Amen. Bible said, a disobedient child one and a half his days. So I want to challenge you to be truthful in all things. You mm -hmm. cannot go wrong mm -hmm. being truthful, even if it hurts. I used to always tell grown people, amen, you have no reason to lie. When we was a child, we was lie, amen, just to try to get out of whooping. Mm -hmm. But when you're grown, who going to whoop you? Hmm. Amen. It's just better to tell the truth. Amen. Amen. You rather please God than man. Amen. And so, uh, and, and the hand that shed innocent blood. Can't you see there's so many people, amen, under the wrath of God this morning because they perish for the lack of knowledge. Amen. Mm -hmm. They in all kind of mischief, false witnesses and, and lying people to get you to side with them and they're not even telling the truth. Mm -hmm. This is one reason why the Lord tells us to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Don't let folk draw you in, amen, to their foolishness. Amen. That's why it's, 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 it's good to have the Holy Ghost because you hear what they say, but you need to hear what God say. Amen. A lot of times people, so true. amen, they're they going to tell you half the truth. Mm -hmm. And the other half, they're going to leave out. Amen. But you need to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Some people today is angry with other folk off a of lie. Uh -huh. Because we did not check with the person. Uh -huh. We did not get the people together and find out what really happened. Uh -huh. Amen. And so then we fall in the hands of an angry God. Because we move off or we, we are uh -huh. moved, being moved off of lies. Uh -huh. Mischief. Amen. So again, you I want to challenge you. Amen. Be truthful in all things. You yes. can't go wrong just being truthful. Amen. You know, that's why the Bible says confess your faults one to another. Uh -huh. He just wants us to be truthful about the matter. Lord, I did it. I'm guilty. Give me another chance. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Repentance is so important. Uh -huh. And in, in this day and time, people don't want to talk about repentance. People don't want to talk about forgiveness. But it's one of the qualifications you have to have in order to see him again. Amen. And so I pray that you will hear me today and be truthful. Be Amen. truthful to your parents. Be truthful to your teachers. Those that urge your authority over you, be truthful. Mm -hmm. One to another. Father in heaven, I thank you for, amen, this little nugget this morning. I pray, God, Amen. that those that have an ear will hear what the Spirit had to say to the church, God. And then, Lord, bring us to the state of repentance. Yes, Lord. We all have been guilty at some point or another in our life. Mm -hmm. And, Lord, we ask you to forgive us. Oh, yes. And continue to love us in trials. Amen. Lord, we know there's none like you in all the earth. And, God, we pray right now, God, that you will see us through. Yes, God. In thy son, Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray and ask it all. Amen, amen, and thank God.